All right, what up guys? So good morning and welcome back. So finally we have another pomade review for you guys. It's been a while again, but the mail has finally arrived. So we actually have quite a few pomades stacked up and ready to review for you. Um, but real quick before we move in, of course, reminder, the POMP promo code, all caps, the POMP, no spaces or anything. Save up to 25% on like more than 11 brewers now over 50 product it's just a bunch of stuff so just check out the promotions page you use the pump different discount numbers you guys can just check out which brand you want and you'll see how much percentage you can save other than that that's the only thing i really want to remind you guys no really updates so let's go ahead and go into this review today we'll be looking at lockhart's matte clay now this is cool because this is actually a lab cooked pomade but it was home formulated. So like Steve went ahead and kind of created this like clay that he wanted, decided all the different aspects he wanted, decided what characteristics he wanted out of this product. And then to make it possible and like just reasonable to do, he passed it on to the lab to actually produce these for him. So it's still this awesome like home, like homemade formula, this Steve Lockhart's and Steve and Nicole Lockhart's formula, which is the most beautiful aspect of this thing. And so unlike his normal oil-based line, he now has like a water base, a, a grooming, I don't want to say grooming cream, more like a hairdressing, and now this clay product. And you know how big we've been on clays lately, so this is really exciting. So I'll start off this review by, of course, looking at like the jar. This is it right here. It has the same label as many of the other like Lockhart's like pomades. Circular design work with like a great Gatsby type of feel font here in the middle. You notice that this is now Lockhart's professional, no longer Lockhart's authentic for this like, kind of group of products. Um, it's medium hold and still like just a nice jar in general. Um, the rest of these uh, Lockhart's professional jars um, differ from the the tin cans that we see with like the goon grease, the medium, like the old oil bases that he ha still has. And so you also notice with the ingredients that this is actually like a wax or like oil based product. This is like beeswax is its primary ingredient, whereas like petroleum is like kind of followed like secondary, like later on. And the point of this is that we've only really seen good wax or like oil based clays. We've yet to really see a good water based clay. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys right now, like this is an awesome product. Like I love it. And so what I mean to say is like, we're still waiting for a great water-based clay, but it doesn't mean these actually can't be washed out. So yeah, opening it up, we see the product inside. It actually has a pretty like creamy consistency cause I kind of broken it down. If I hadn't done this, it would actually be like pretty smooth, but it is like a pretty waxy product and you do have to break it down. But yeah, let's go ahead and start using it. So like the scent of this pomade, when I first smelled it, it immediately reminded me of like white pomade and like Palm's Not Dead OG. So very much that like cool water scent with like a touch of musk and just, it just really pushes that nice clean cologne smell. Obviously nothing can ever really replicate, well, We've seen like one or two, but it can't really get all the aspects of a cologne, but it really gets close and it's a really nice smell. I actually really like this one. Right, yeah. So scooping it out, like let me kind of push away like the ones I already broke down, but underneath it's actually a pretty thick and hard wax. It takes about like just a good push to go ahead and break it down, but like almost nothing to actually smear it up. And so just as with like any other clay, like we want to make sure that we take out like small scoops at a time, something reasonable, because if you go about the route that like, oh, I'm in a hurry, I'm going to do like three scoops worth at once, you're not going to get really far at all. And so as we agitate in our hands, it breaks down easily, but then you start picking up like the grip from like the wax.
it's interesting though because like this pomade we don't really feel the clay as much as like a lot of the other clay products we've used like the Baxter clay like you definitely feel the clay like you kind of it's not like sand like but you really do feel like the grittiness of the clay and with some of the other clays you also feel the grittiness but this one like some of the new clays that just popped out the admiral the js loam clay like you don't feel the clay aspect of it but at least with this one the clayness actually like does come out does present itself which is nice though we can't feel it in our hands And so the reason why I'm a lot more, uh, say, dedicated or invested with applying this product right now, like, it's really important that you don't have to use a lot of product and you really want to get it where you need it, which is kind of like underneath. Like, you obviously just don't want to top coat with this product. That's not how it works. And so... Like, yeah, I'll eventually top coat as you see now to kind of just keep everything together. But what you want to make sure you do is basically put product at the foundation of like your pump. I'm probably going if I could touch more and that'd be fine. And let me re-emphasize, you really need to go in with small scoops at a time. like. It's really important and of course like as with any other clay so far at least like the grip is strong like it might be discomforting if you have really like uh, fine hair like me so just be wary of that and so go in with small scoops so like the consistency is tough as tough at first but breaks down reasonably and then like kind of applying it I mean yes like it's strong it's like kind of difficult in a way but we haven't seen any other clay like prove that it's easy and work as exceptionally so there's no complaining there it's still reasonable still possible so it's fine so now that we have it applied we're still gonna go ahead and comb it all through once I find my comb like a tough product to get in like it combs through really easily which is unique for a clay I mean a lot of these clay think you're just gonna work with your hands only and it's cool when you're able to but that's not always the case and so what we begin to see is like these nice like clay pomades where you can still start off like a, like a pomade which makes everything a lot easier and then you could go on to kind of like comb it add the volume with a comb and then like work with it with your hands And actually Lockhart's actually advises or recommends working for blow dryer with this pomade, but you guys know me, you guys know this blog, like we're not gonna do that. And it's not because of the connotations of using a blow dryer or anything like that. It's like I have no interest in like further complicating my life. I mean adding these extra tools give you like possibly they can give you like a better pump, a more more volume with a pump, but like that's just like another thing to add to your life, another like thing you have to do in the morning. And the purpose of like these good products is so that you can simplify your life. You don't need a cocktail anymore, you can only use one product, things are quicker. And so, for the sacrifices I have to go through to use like a blow dryer with one of those like uh, hair tampon things, those like roller combs. Uh, brushes, roller brushes, that's what they are. Um, I'm not willing to go through it because, I mean, at the end of the day, I just want something simple and, like, quick. Oh.
So what I'm going to do is try to fo uh, form like a full pop. And so what I normally do when I use a clay is basically like form a ridiculous one and one with like just basically bad shape that's going to fall apart. And the purpose of that is I just really just want to get the hair in the, like it's kind of normal shape. What, it, what I eventually want it to somewhat look like. And with extra volume, because as I hand comb it, it's going to lose volume. So I go far first and end up in like the middle. Alright, so we're actually getting some real nice shape out of this right now. And it's awesome because one thing I noticed with um, the Lockhart's matte clay specifically with like this product, I can actually go either with like a clean pompadour or a messy one. Typically when you have like a really clay product, you can't go clean. It's like almost impossible. And like initially being able to style clean like this will actually make us question how clay this pomade really is. But the fact that we can actually continue on to like a loose pompadour, like a messy finger comb pompadour and still have it really embody the clay aspect. like. That makes it okay. Alright, so that is actually beautiful. So normally what I would do is basically go out, do something for like 15 minutes and then come back and like hand comb it or finger comb it. But what I'm gonna do right now is just go ahead and like go through that process. You know, what we intend to do is basically just like finger comb and push things around a little bit to get like a good messiness. If we get it too messy, if things start clumping up too much for some reason, then we go back with a comb and like redo it and then start like pushing it with our fingers again. And I think that's as messy as I want it at least. And the thing is, like, with non-clay products, I actually can't really form, the, like, a full pump as well or as easily. Like, this matte clay right here provides, like, a lot of volume, and you don't need a blower dryer. And so, if I can do, like, a full pump, like, with this hair, like, then you can probably do wonders with yours. Like, I form the part because, like, I kind of need it, but... Yeah, because you can kind of see like the part already kind of semi-forming on the side. Anyways, <laughs> let's talk about the product. So, like, the shine, it's like neutral. I mean, it's like a matte shine. I don't want to say it takes any shine away, which is what I want. And it just leaves your hair, like, basically neutral. If you have shiny hair, then you a little bit of shine will stand out. Um, the slickness, for a clay pumping, it's actually, like, pretty slick. I don't have any straight hairs, which is also the interesting thing. I mean, it's still a clay product where, like, you will get straight. I mean, compared to, like, a normal oil base, this is, like, definitely not slick at all. But some of the other clays I've, we've tried, some of the bad ones, like, it, it, things just start falling apart, which is just too much texture. Um, strength, really, really good. You got a lot of strength out of this one. And not with, like, a lot of, like, sacrifice. Like, it isn't too discomforting for the amount of strength it actually gives you. And control is, like, fantastic. I mean it's really easy to work with. So, yes, the scent is also light now, but it's still there and nice. I know I wore this product yesterday and like near the end of the day, like I can still smell it. So, like, it's great. Um, other than that, go ahead, go throughout the whole day now and we'll come back and talk about how well this pomade lasts and stuff like that, because that is a big question for these clay pomades. So, peace out guys, I'll be back. Alright, what up guys, so I'm back now, and sorry for the bad audio in the last section. I actually realized like after I finished recording that I didn't turn on the external audio recorder, so what you hear should be a lot more like raspy and might have accidentally pe peaked out. But anyway, so I'm back now, end of the day, so let's go ahead and kind of see how well like Lockhart's matte clay survived. And so what we see now is more of like a loose slick back rather than like a loose pompadour. And like 
That's kind of what we expect from a clay pomade. I mean, if you're going to build a pump, a loose pump, on like an unsound structural base, and that is naturally how like a loose pump door is formed, you just finger comb it, it's not like you're forming a really good foundation, you don't really expect it to last the whole day, and you will have to play with it with your hands and kind of go on from there. And you will like lose the volume and stuff like that. So I mean, at least it's still like pretty aesthetic. It looks nice, and it still has like good texture and like matte feel to it. It doesn't like kind of flake out or anything. It doesn't get too crazy. Like with some of the other products, like Baxter Clay, when the strays started happening, like fixing them was actually quite discomforting, or the frays were like just in a way ugly. Like they were really super messy, ugly. And so this is nice though. This is still workable. Um, so endurance, I mean, for clay, it, for for clay, it is really good. For like maybe for like a pomade, no. But I mean, we're working for clay, so we have to really adjust what we expect and stuff like that for the advantages of a clay versus the disadvantages of a clay. Uh, restyleability with your hands is really manageable. But I did notice one thing I want to tell you guys about. So, if you spend your whole day in like a place with AC or air conditioning, like. A really cold environment this product will harden up to some extent it's not like a gel or anything but it does like kind of harden and settle but if you spend your time in like the sun in like hot humid weather it stays like soft so do take that into account um but restyleability like it's pretty easy you can always really like finger comb it every single time you touch it though remember you will lose volume that's how it is for most pomades um, what else? Rinseability, you can wash it out in one go. I tried it out this morning, I was able to wash it completely out. So, even though it is like a wax slash like oil based pomade, you can wash it out in one go. So, that's really nice. The scent um, is essentially gone unless you uh, kind of agitate it. Like, if you finger comb it, like I did, you can smell just like a touch of it still and stuff like that. But in terms of like this like aroma that like surrounds you, not anymore. Um, other than that, like the strength is like still lower, the control is good, slickness, I mean nice, I didn't get a lot of straight hair, it's not like once the product goes out, the hair falls. And like, for the performance, this performance matches Baxter Clay. But not only that, the scent is a lot better, and the price point is way better. That Baxter Clay is such, how should I say, whatever, it's a pricey product, and for this one, more product, cheaper, like this one's definitely like a much better like bang for your buck. I mean, if it performs better and it's cheaper, then it's a clear decision. So definitely Lockhart's professional matte clay receives my seal of approval. Like I honestly love this one. This is actually a clay I can use every day. The Baxter one gets a little discomforting after some time, but this one is actually like, work. I mean, it could still get softer and get still get more like malleable, but as it is right now, this is still an amazing product. This is definitely set like a standard for us to aspire to. And I told you, I told you, that the that clay pomades will be the next thing that we will be facing. And so, I guess this begins it. In the same way that Old Dude's water base like started like the whole like non-drying like oil base like simulating water based pomade, Lockhart's has now started a clay pomade thing. So, like, I love this product, and also especially for you guys, I have a special promo code for the next 48 hours, the pump clay, one word, all caps. It should give you a, an extra few percentages for discount, and so this is kind of my gift to you for watching this review, which I assume is probably going to end up being pretty long. But yeah, so hope you guys got something out of this review. At this point today. This is the best um, clay pomade we've seen. We've looked at like Baxter clay, um, D76 clay. Um, I've personally also looked at the Admiral clay, the JS zone um, caviar clay. And so at this point today, whatever like published date it says, this is the best clay on the market so far in terms of like this community that we exist within. So yeah. I'd highly recommend it if if you're interested in like a loose pompadour. So yeah, hope you guys got something out of this review. Other than that, take care and peace out.